everybody, ZuriFX here, and I am a scary killer clown. Oh my goodness. Alright, <laughs> let's just jump in right in here. We're going to do my neck right now. And I just did a kind of freestyle, different colors, using a split cake as well. And I'm adding a uh, white face paint, one layer with a flat brush, and the second layer with a sponge, and I'm dabbing it into my skin. I'm blending in a little bit of orange and pink face paint around the eyes. Right now, sketching out my mouth area. I'm trying to outline it to see where it's gonna go. Now doing the details on the clown eye, I wanted to make it not even, and so I decided to make it another little sharp corner there. And two points on top of my eyebrows. Going ahead and filling in my teeth area, and I'm going to make the teeth as sharp as possible. Well, I wanted it sharp, sharp teeth. Mixing in different blues, like blue, teal, light blue, and dark blue, to give it a little bit more dimension in the mouth area. Go ahead and outline the whole mouth. And randomly putting a dark eyeshadow around my face to give it more detail. Next, going back to the chest and neck area and outlining the whole entire neck piece. Put a little bit more detail in the neck piece as well. It's eyelash time. Yay. And using uh, a flat brush, I'm splashing some red face paint all over to give it an illusion that there is blood splattered all over my face. Next is the nose. I wasn't sure if I wanted the real nose or if I wanted just to paint a nose on my nose. <laughs> it's 
So I took pictures with both. One with with the big nose and the one just with the painted nose. But I'm all done. This is my finished look. I hope you like it. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Zuri Effects here. Over and out. Bye.